Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about the third beta of iOS 18. So we're currently on beta 2 for about 10 days now and we should get the third beta pretty soon but we're going to talk about the release date and also the release date of ios 18 public beta in a few minutes here but first of all let's take a look at what can we expect from the third beta of ios 18. now as you probably know by now if you have been around and if you have watched videos on ios 18 this is actually quite a big update there are a ton of new features probably over 200 new features and changes that apple has added to iOS with iOS 18 beta 1 and then of course the second beta as well. But there are a lot of new features that Apple has actually talked about at WWDC 2024 which of course have not been released yet. They will be released very soon. Some of them might even be released on the third beta and we can talk about a few of those that I believe we might see getting released with the third beta of iOS 18. Now, first of all is Image Playground. Now, Image Playground on iOS 18 will be an AI application that will allow users on their iPhone to create images using advanced algorithms. You have seen this if you watch WWDC 2024. It offers a new level of creativity and of course customization as well. You will have a lot of options, a lot of things you can use to actually create the images that you want always using AI. And this will work also on things like messages. So it's pretty awesome when you just want to create a message, like actually an image, just send it as an iMessage. You will be able to do that right from the app. So it's pretty cool. Now this of course has been presented, but it didn't make to, didn't make it to iOS 18 until now. Most likely this will be released with the next beta. Now here's a feature we probably thought would never come to iOS. That is call recording. Apple is actually putting call recording as a feature on the phone app on iOS. Now this will allow you to actually record the phone calls that you make from your iPhone, but not just that, even transcribe the phone calls that you have of course made right on your phone apps. And it will of course provide users with the convenient way to keep track of all their important conversation. Now this will be very useful. Now until now we didn't have actually a proper way unless you had a jailbroken device to actually record the phone calls that you made. There are some services that allow you to do that but they are for most users are very complicated so with this feature actually it will make it very simple and very easy for anyone to just record their phone calls and even transcribe them. Now during WWDC 2024, Apple also talked about some new AI features that are coming to photo editing with iOS 18. These might also be some of the new features that will come to iOS with iOS 18. Now what we will get with these features, basically a feature that will allow you to erase objects from a picture with without damaging the overall picture, it, it actually works really good. If you have seen the presentation, Apple did a demonstration of that, and it actually works very, very good. Also, there will be features that will allow to use AI to actually automatically edit your images and enhance them at the same time. So these are also some of the new features that we might see on iOS 18, the third beta. Now, what I would expect also from the third beta are a lot of improvements that Apple will probably do on the home screen. Now, as you know, with iOS 18, Apple has added a new way to customize your home screen with the icons and all that, but they have made some adjustments with the the second beta compared to the first one when it comes to the tint of the icons also the dark mode for some of the icons has changed now i would expect apple to actually continue with that and improve the icons overall and maybe even change some of the customization features here some of them actually have been changed a bit with the second beta and i expect even more from the third beta now some changes that I believe will happen are really necessary, like this one right here. This is a bug that will happen on the home screen of your iPhone running iOS 
18 beta 2 it didn't happen to me on beta 1 it just happens on beta 2 and you can see all the icons just go blank and you will have to actually reboot your iphone in order to fix this problem this will most likely at as it is it's widely spread a lot of users have been having this issue this will most likely be fixed with the third beta also you can expect apple to bring improvements to battery life with the third beta of ios 18 as you can see right here you will see the battery times which actually haven't been that that bad compared to what we're doing here we're dealing with a, such a big beta it's just a second beta and a lot of new features and changes you can see right here 100 percent battery you can see 9 hours 52 minutes right here we have about 85 percent battery 7 hours 53 minutes it's not the worst ever but of course it can be improved with the third beta as well also as as usual of course improvements in performance and hopefully notifications will be finally fixed now for me most of the time notifications have been broken with ios 18 the first and the second beta it's basically the same not getting notifications sometimes i get the notifications but no sound sometimes it just plays the sound and it shows no notification on the lock screen hopefully these problems will finally be fixed with the third beta of ios 18. now there are some pretty cool features that apple has talked about at wwdc 2024 that we know are not coming with the third beta of ios 18 probably won't even come with the final release of ios 18 until ios 18.1 one of them will be the new mail app update where you can categorize your emails and all that stuff and then the feature on siri with the on-screen aware awareness and in-app actions those are features that are not coming to beta 3 and i believe won't come to ios 18 until ios 18.1 and now let's talk about the release date now if history is an indicator ios 18 beta 3 should be released on the 8th of july apple is releasing beta every second week on the monday and that should happen this time as well so expect the third beta of ios 18 to be released on july 8th now this is the week that we will most likely also get the public beta of ios 18 where everyone can actually test it out but of course even now you can just test out ios 18 dev beta but when the public beta is released we know that it is stable enough for the public to test it so that is of course when a lot of users will actually jump on and test the ios 18 update but that should come probably a day or two after the third beta of ios 18 so expect the public beta if you just want to install it and you're waiting for it expect it to be released somewhere right here on the 9th or the 10th of july these are the dates that you should get this beta on your device so whether you should update or not of course if you're on the second beta always make sure that you update to the third beta it will have new features but of course what's most important will have bug fixes and improvements if you're on ios 17 and you just want to try out the public beta I suggest that you do it now i think you should be really careful if you just have one device your daily device make sure that you actually back it up before you try to install the beta because something might go wrong even though i believe nothing will it is always better to have a backup of your data so that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash that like button of course subscribe for more videos and i will see you on the next one